I think it would be fun to do a drawing of Smelly Louie, so I'm going to teach you how to do that. Um, put your paper side to side. I'm going to draw with a marker because it shows up better, but it's probably best to start with a pencil. Think of Louie's body here. I'll put the picture over there. I wonder if we can see it at the same time. Louie's body. It's an o a really long oval. And then his head sticks up and his nose is almost like a loopy triangle. So we're going to try to do that. So I would start out first with his body like a really long oval. Can you see that? And then I, he has a little bit of a long neck sticking up because he's got his face in the air because he's always sniffing. And then I would put kind of a, it's kind of a loopy triangle. Does that make sense? Because he sticks his nose up in the air because he really wants to smell stuff. His ears are hanging down like this. He's got a little eye up there. Does that make sense? And then when he's walking, he just got nice little long legs and they kind of stick down. They got kind of slim at the end. And I'm going to make this one reaching forward. And then I'm making this one reaching forward, kind of like a loop, just with a little bit of a thickness on the end, coming back. And then this one, he's kind of um, flipping back as he's striding along. He looks pretty good right next, or he's missing a tail, and he's missing a lot of his raggedy fur. So then after you do that, he's, you know how dogs are, if they're all wet, they're kind of um, slim. So we should put his little raggedy fur on him. He's got little raggedy furs there. He's got kind of whiskers that stick off different directions. He's got a smile because he's pretty happy with how his life is. And then he's just kind of messy. This would be fun after you draw him. There's a couple things you could do with him. You could fill him with really controlled zigzags or kind of messy stuff that shows that his fur's got a lot of extra stuff hanging on it. You color him kind of a wild mix of things. Or you could even take this drawing after you're done with it outside and put a little real dirt on it. I think I'm liking right now doing this where I just kind of add some kind of controlled stuff. I don't get crazy and cover up everything I've done. I go ahead and use, use this marker to show some controlled coloring, to show the mix of all the different smells that he's got coming from him. Does that make sense? And that's kind of a funny thing to do. And I think maybe I would take this marker, then I'd take some colored pencils, and I use different colors and just layer up. Layer up all kinds of different colors for the different smells that he's got. Does that make sense about what to do? So have fun and make a good, smelly, Louie.